Hello, everybody. Um, I've been wanting to do a video the last couple of days, and I'm trying. I've been trying to think of something, something good to do a video about. Like, I'm getting really tired of doing videos for video's sake. Like, I feel like if I'm not, if I'm not doing something, like, what's the fucking point? And, uh, I was talking with somebody last night. And, um, we were talking about how there are people that I don't like. And what my friend was saying, she was like, I don't think that you really don't like people. I think that when you talk to people and are around people you take on too much of their stuff and you can't just like be there and listen to someone talk about stuff like you feel like you have to like take it all on and that is true and um, that got us into A lot of other introspective thoughts about individuals like it got me thinking about me it got her thinking about her you know and um, we were talking and it's like I think I have kind of the epiphany I had let's say is that I don't like people who have no passion. Um, I don't like being around them. I don't like hearing them talk. I don't like the way their words sound because there's nothing behind it. Um, and the important thing about passion, and you can be passionate about anything. Now, this doesn't mean I like all people with passion, because there are some people out there with very stupid and dangerous views that um, are very passionate about it. But there are so many more people with no passion than there are people with passion that it makes... I don't know if it just makes life boring or if it makes you realize how limited our existence is. Like you sit there and you're talking to somebody or they're talking to you. It's funny because I, I find that there's a lot of people with no passion that feel like if there's a lull in a conversation, they need to keep talking. Because if they don't keep talking, it like everyone's going to find out that they have no passion and it's going to be crippling. So I was going over all this stuff. And th there is a point to this. I'm not just like fucking being super depressing or nothing. But it made me think about the books I read and the writers I like. And, uh, there are some writers that you read, and they're overflowing with passion. And I don't mean, like, passion, like, he ran his fingers through my hair and ripped the cord out of my corset. I mean, like, who fucking genuinely care about what the fuck they're talking about. 
and it's important to him. You, you could feel it, like, you could almost, like, smell it and taste it and shit. And so I was, like, going through, like, some authors that I like, and some authors that I wanted to try, and some authors that, like, I tried a little bit and didn't really like. And there's just sometimes you can't feel someone's passion and it shows and it's horrible like it's just a horrible place to be a horrible feeling to feel but um, passion is just so important so like if you're a writer if you're a writer and when you're writing, you <clears throat> you don't feel that passion. You're just typing to just put words on a page. If you ever feel like that, stop and just think about it for a minute. And think about if there's a way that you can talk about the thing you're writing about passionately. Is there a way that you, and I mean, even if it's, like, technical writing or whatever, like, who fucking cares? Like, if there is something about the thing you're writing about that really just fucking turns you on, that flips that switch, like, dive into that. And don't go, oh, well, I'm waiting for the climax, you know? I'm, like, kind of holding that back. No, like, put that in, you know? And you know what's funny? especially when you're reading people's manuscripts, you will read that first chapter. And a lot of times people say throw out the first chapter. And I have done it before. Like, I, I know the theory behind it. It makes sense. But typically when someone's writing that first chapter, that's when they are the most fucking excited about a project. That is when they are just like... The juices are flowing. They are so into it. They just want everyone to know about it. And that first chapter just bleeds beauty. Okay? Then you get to the second chapter. And it's kind of like... It's almost like the blood's drying out a little bit. And then a lot of times by chapter three or four, it's just like... Bobby went here. Bobby went there. This thing happened car turned on it's like all the passion's gone because like you probably just want to get to that one part the part that made you want to write the book in the first place that one scene where you're like oh shit when I get here dude <clears throat> this shit's gonna take off and um, maybe this is why there are people who revise and revise and revise and rewrite stuff over and over again. But because of how easy publishing is now, um, a lot of people don't do that. I don't do it because, like, I don't got time to do that. I, I got other shit to write. You know, like, my brain is going a million miles an hour and I can barely hold on. You know? But, um, and I'm not saying that's right, that's just me fucking lazy, whatever. But, um, I just miss passion, and I think that's why I'm getting so far away from novels now. Like, reading novels. I would rather read short stories. I would rather read poetry. Because it's like these little fucking bursts of passion. And, um, Maybe that's just what I need right now, but back to the point here, if you're a writer and you're writing something and you don't feel that passion while you're writing, like just every once in a while, just like think, like, am I being passionate right now? Am I boring myself? You know, like passion is so fucking important. 
And that's like my new thing because I haven't really thought about it before. I haven't really thought about how much passion I put into shit. But I have noticed that if I don't have a lot of passion for something, I stop right away. Not right away, maybe like a day into it, you know. I'll be going and I'm like, not feeling it. Like, I'm not feeling like my soul's exploding, you know. Um, I don't know, I just think it's important. And if you're just a reader, read some stuff and go back to a book that you read that was maybe okay but you didn't really like it and like just open to like chapter 2 or 3 or 4 and just kind of give it a once over again and see if you could tell that there is no passion or not there um it's just a strange little thought that came up that got me all like fucking tripped out thinking and um, shit like that. I just, I I want to do more stuff on YouTube, but I want it to fucking matter. Like, I don't want to just be putting up videos for the sake of putting up videos. Like, I want the things I do to matter. And I know a lot of people are like, hey, um, you were doing a bunch of Conan stuff, that was cool. You were doing a bunch of Lovecraft stuff, that was cool. Um, I've, I'm just, I've overbooked myself like crazy this month. Um, and I don't want to do stuff to do it so I will be getting back to all that stuff I promise you I promise you um, but like right now I'm just I'm trying to just keep my head above water and um, in fact on the podcast this week the I hate Matt wall podcast um, I'm gonna be sharing all of the um, updates on the shit that's been going on because I've had a fucking crazy week and um, you could listen to the podcast at my website links down below and then also I just now today put the iTunes link down below if you listen to podcasts on iTunes and I eventually I think it'll be on Spotify I don't know I, I'm sure it will I just have to figure out what fucking box to check but anyway So, uh, fingering the mundane. Got three more backers since my last video. We're at 455, which is fucking awesome. Thank you guys. I love you so much for helping me out there. 37%. It's only 14 days left. That's two weeks. We're halfway through. Halfway. And we're not even halfway across yet. Um, and I, like I said this week, I want to try to get all the way to 1200 this week so we can start doing some badass fucking stretch goals and stuff. Um, so there's that. And then also the Poetic Anarchy course, the next volume of this, um, starts September 7th. So if you want to, um, jump in on that, uh, let me know and we will figure out a way to make that happen for you. This one is already filling up faster than the last one, which is shocking because I kind of thought like there would be a novelty to it. So the first time I did it would be like kind of cool and like people would jump on it. And then the next time I did it, the novelty wears off. Um, but the exact opposite's happening, um, which I'm very grateful for. I just wasn't expecting. Like I thought um, <laughs> people would go, oh, wow. Yeah. So you did that. Mm. alright can you just go back to making those fucking Lovecraft videos you motherfucker so um, the Indiegogo links down below if you can't back it that's so fine I understand completely but if you could share it or talk to people about it that would uh, that would just like make my day and if you have backed it still talk to people about it um, that would help out a great deal and um, back to everything else, just fucking be passionate with what you do. Whether you write, whether you're a gardener, whether you're a trash man, whether you are the fucking dude that works at the liquor store, have fucking passion in what you do. Like, it, it speaks volumes, it brings people in, it, it makes people want to 
be a part of it because people are attracted to passion. People gravitate towards passion. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so that's it. I'm going to stop ranting and raving over here. Um, thank you guys so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Click the bell. Like the video. Leave a comment. Ask a question. Tell me off. Um, yeah. And um, that's it. And I will see you guys later. So, bye-bye.